अमराधार घरे जोल से बाती अमराधार घरे जोल से बाती हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इनसाइड एनी इन टुडेज एपिसोड ऑफ स्टोरीज फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ ईस्ट आई लाइक टू टेक यू टू द बैंक्स ऑफ द रिवर ब्रह्मपुत्रा where life is a constant struggle where the ruthless flood waters could take away everything that one has in a single moment in one fell swoop nodir kul nai directed by assamese filmmaker parashar barua depicts the ordinary life of the sor sapuris of assam it documents the mia community's relationship with the river and their struggle for identity and for survival This film was the official selection in the competition section of the 12th International Documentary and Short Film Festival of Kerala, the IDS FFK, which is one of India's most prestigious film festivals for documentaries. To speak with us, we have filmmaker Parashar Barua. We also have Amin Nozmul Islam and Mirza Lutfur Rahman, who feature in the film. So, Parashar, my first question to you: You know, Nodir Kool Nai. it translates yeah. to the river that has no shore yes so why such a name for your documentary nodir kul nai oh uh, well uh, in the beginning you know it, i find it very difficult to find names for my films you know and um, nodir kul nai is one of the songs that we had recorded in uh, that night and um, which talks about the limitless and, and boundaryless river which flows and especially during floods you can see how what a big massive body of water the river becomes and i felt that was you know very apt for the film because it is somewhere it talks about you know the the man's relation to the river and just as the river flows you know without boundaries without any shores knowing no you know having no kind of you know you can't really demarcate it so does culture so does man man has migrated and you know the story of displacement story of moving from one place to the other which where it is also somewhere what my film tries to touch upon about man and especially in condition in connection with the river so i felt nodir kulnai was an apt enough name and um, so that's how i decided on 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 the name of the film yes Okay, and when you talk of the river, of course, you mean the Brahmaputra, yes, uh, which is right now in spate, yeah, and uh, it's the season of floods again in Assam. Yeah. So uh, I think Mirza and Amin, since they are in Assam, true, uh, they could tell us about the situation right now. Uh, If I could at, just kind of uh, put it into context, we mm -hmm. we filmed this, uh, we we shot this documentary in the winter of 2019, and where of course the river had a different qual. qual quality it was mild it was you know and and though the songs talked about you know uh, the the floods or or the displacement now is the right time to actually you know uh, kind of uh, another reason why uh, i i feel that it's it's the right time to also show the film is that now right now people are going through this kind of a crisis the crisis that comes through floods and which in fact uh, both mirza and uh, nozbul they have been documenting it in a current so there'll be in a better place to talk about the current situation and how it, it connects uh, thank you <laughs> uh, actually uh, you know it well the flat situation is very worse here in assam you know the condition is uh, now erosion is uh, uh, creating a great havoc among the people i in the sor sapuris uh, in fact i wanted to ask that also uh, mirza you said uh, mia people they are yeah. the bengali muslim origin bengali people origin. yeah okay okay so you hmm. belong to the mia community is that what yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do <laughs> uh, that's why we want to talk about our uh, which is actually uh, not forecast uh, uh what uh, uh the situation one that kind of focus is not given on this community uh, uh, on uh, on the issues of the community uh, the main media is uh, not bothered about the uh, conditions uh, of this community 
the ground ground reality is not been brought out to the people to, to the mm -hmm. world so we have started uh, this kind of uh, documenting uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know the conditions the issues uh, which were you, you, you talked about uh, you also mentioned sort sapori mirzam yeah. can you explain to us what is sort sapori what does it translate to yeah, why not? Of course, uh, Saur Sapuri means actually Saur, uh, river islands. <laughs> uh, in local language, uh, is, or you, you can you can say it in Assamese also. Uh, uh, river islands are called Saur, uh, and uh, Saur are not actually permanent uh, places where to, uh, uh, to live, but uh, uh, there uh, this community people lives, and. Uh, uh, this uh, this source are uh, the, the whole uh, uh, every year the source are uh, affected by erosion and, and you know uh, 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 very interestingly actually unfortunately <laughs> very unfortunately you know um, uh, after a few years the source go vanished and people shift to other source uh, yeah. The river island go vanished due to erosion. That's why it is called Sor. <laughs> uh, okay, so, right, right, right. So, like you say, the the river island, you know, the it's 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 vanishing. So, yeah. what exactly happens when the Brahmaputra, you know, floods its banks? Uh, what kind of hardships do you face? Do the people of the Mia community face? Uh, you know, people lost everything. They they had to lose everything. Uh, everything means uh, their houses, their uh, you know uh, their cattle, uh, and uh, any other uh, you know wealth they have, uh, whatever they have. And if uh, the erosion comes slowly, and the people get to know that erosion is coming then people uh, get uh, the opportunity to shift their uh, wells their houses to other places on board but uh, if it comes overnight uh, sometimes people go uh, uh, you know uh, people's wealth goes and they just uh, uh, you know they save themselves uh, from the erosion and their wealth their houses goes uh, uh, you know uh, uh, on the river in the river so as you said, there's no warning and it can cause complete devastation. Your houses yeah. can be broken and everything yeah. taken away. So uh, I find it uh, you know, very beautiful and also something unique that you express this grief and sorrow and all these sufferings through music, through yeah. song. So AJ, you have a song, 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 you have a community गान गान विशेष भाटियाली गान गुजर जीवन मिया कम्यूनिटी जीवन मिया कम्यूनिटी स्ट्रागल मिया कम्यूनिटी इश्यूज सब किस एखे थे नयरे हमरा चोरे रे जो मीच अश्कुरा हमरा चोरे रे जो मीच अश्कुरा शुल्ले रे घामे बिजलम बालू रे बालू ऐहोन शोना रूपा बालू ऐहोन शोना रूपा 
झिलमिल झिलमिल करे रे चरे एक झोरी उठ से रे चरे एक झोरी उठ से रे नया रे हो primary singers in the film he was also very helpful with the song so so this particular song basically talks about the conditions of people how you know you know mirza in fact will explain later you know about how they have toiled the earth and you know and uh, try to you know they work hard they have uh, you know toiled and then you know kind of invested their blood and sweat into this very impermanent you know completely temporary river island who and they are at the mercy of the river and how you know how within this this new voice or this new movement or this new wind or you know this new storm which is coming which is what in fact is is exactly what i have seen happen this whole churning within the community uh, culturally to kind of assert themselves cult- culture i mean mm-hmm. there's there just the political narrative will keep on going you know there is yeah, there, it, not in not fact so, yeah if just I to kind of, yeah. uh, yes uh, i wanted to also ask you parashal why did you particularly pick the mia community right you seem to have closely followed uh, the kind of struggles that they are going through why well, did you choose I, to make a film on them i'll just i'll be the first one to accept that you know we are different from each other and uh, in in a state like assam i think we are a melting pot of many cultures and uh, at the first step to any kind of resolution to any kind of you know answer to a conflict is to acknowledge the presence of the other person of the other community and the fact that we have to coexist and all the other things the other conflict rise from uh from you know from trying to assert our power over others and uh, if we keep that aside we must for start by acknowledging that they are they live with us and they are part of you know us as a state and until and unless we understand you know their issues or we are you know we show some empathy towards them and their condition i don't think we can cross over those barriers we have created and start start to resolve or start conflict resolution and uh, after the many attempts that have been made to resolve this issue i just feel that this is another approach it may not be the correct approach it may not be the most valid approach but i feel as an individual i think that's my process of trying to engage and trying to get to know uh, the other person before even trying to have a have some kind of a judgmental opinion about them and this is um, you know maybe this is just one small step towards trying to do that because as an assamis um, i am equally affected by what is happening i'm equally affected by uh, you know what has happened historically and i have very strong opinions about that about illegal immigration about and it is completely unacceptable to you know uh, or support illegal immigration but at the same time we cannot deny a large section of humanity because of a lack of paper i think we must go beyond that and understand their condition first and then see how which is the best way to resolve it i feel that is all that i needed to you know i hope i i, I hope that intention comes across right and, right but why are uh, so, the yeah. mias perceived as a threat even they've but always you, lived by the banks of the brahmaputra but then, but for then decades just as, just as you know migration uh, you know migration has happened in different cycles you know historically you know, right from the 19th century you know we have had migrations in in the country but uh, lately uh, you know in the recent modern political history of india and especially with with bangladesh this is definitely a point of you know of 
contention of illegal immigration and how because of political patronage because of certain you know uh, vested interest it has definitely led to the change in the fabric of our country and and we have had flashpoints we have had political flashpoints where you know because of the uh, of the threat of an obvious threat of illegal immigration the fact that there were there were these large bodies of people who had no claim to the country were brought in for whatever reason and that has led to friction bit within the you know uh, with the indigenous community, community and we have had really some really bloody history that we know i don't want to personally revisit right so, right right so but this but the fact that this community now over the years you know whatever be our official cut off uh, you know whatever be our official uh, uh, take on it but this community is there you know it is there in a large geographical section of our of our state so you can't deny their existence you know they 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 are up for scrutiny they will definitely have to you know uh, you know whatever follow rules laws but the fact that they are constantly being scrutinized and all, always seen only through this prism of you know of being a foreigner of being an illegal immigrant of being a parasite i'm sure has led to some bit of stress and some bit of you know uh, indignity among the community which is evident in the way we probably as so called mainstream assimilators has dealt with them there has always been this friction where we have never engaged with you know each other and which is what come brings me back to this to why i started this film uh because when when the opportunity you know kind of arose when artis which is another you know an art festival a fringe art festival that i am associated with right from 2017 and uh, uh, i started with uh, making a film on marjuli again on the river and the community there so when in, when in 2019 they they wanted to make a the, the whole theme of the uh, art event was brahmaputra and so i i proposed that i i'll make a film on the river and community and i i i wanted to feature this river and community because historically they have lived and coexisted with the river but as assamese or as as personally as an assamese person i have never engaged with them so i don't know much about it and and i felt having worked with the mission community having worked extensively in marjuli i thought it would maybe it will be a fresh perspective it will be a fresh you know thing to go and find out about this community and although the the film is about the songs of the river mm-hmm. but through that i wanted to personally engage and find out or you know find out answers to these bigger questions about identity about displacement right. and migration which is where it was all that was churning within me because these are the questions that you know in in 2018 and 19 i was going through you know Why, why do you say that panash so when you say that you mean you actually felt that you might become stateless or without a nationality oh uh, well interestingly i mean i always found this nrc process uh, for lack of any other word you know it was quite uh, i don't know i mean it was quite uh, the, f- the fact that after all these years after almost 40 years that you're asked to prove your nationality prove the fact that you're an assamese for whatever reason i found it to be um, an insult to who i am and uh, and you know and and the kind of stress that my you know, family members and my elders were going through trying to prove or getting the legacy data together was something that i i, I was kind of you know kind of irked by it and at the same time in the first nrc list both me and my brother and and you know our wives we didn't find our names mentioned there so for a while technically you know we didn't have we, you know we were stateless to what, what was life. the reason though parashan i mean it could be maybe because of you know some scrutiny because it was a draft and uh, and maybe for some whatever reason and 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 i don't even want to get into the process of how how that list was made because i kept myself away from it i because anyway the fact that i stay away from assam and I'm, i live in bombay was the fact that i didn't have to engage with the process too much and uh, my brother and my father were taking care of it but the fact that in the in the first list that was out both except for my father the our names were didn't even feature so that is another reason why it got me thinking about you know being stateless or being you know without uh, what would have i mean just as hypothetical situation the fact that what made me different from them what made me 
more SMEs than they they have. Those are those are questions that you know are core to why I'm trying to engage with uh, with communities. And right, right, right. So I'd better, like to you know. Yeah. Yeah, Parashan, I would like to also hear from Mirza and uh, uh, Amin. Je apna ter kiro kum lagi jokoni citizenship er kotha hoy. It's something that I have not experienced, you know. So, um, is there a feeling of threat? See, this is a very bad thing. You know, actually, we get no language to express this kind of emotion. What uh, we uh, feel when <laughs> we are uh, we we feel that uh, people are talking us stateless people are talking us uh, as uh, foreigners eta mane amader jonno khub oshojjo kor ekta jontronar moto bishesh kore ami ami amar byaktigoto ekta kotha bolchi je ami 2010 11 te all india radio guwahati te it's an announcer hishabe ami selected hoyechilam assamese is it clear yeah yeah it's clear uh -huh. yes uh, oh. absolutely i mean ar apni jeta bollen mane kono bhasha paoa jay na apni jeta te express korben ei jontrona ta ki rokom to apni tar pore etao bollen je mane korecho তো সেটা আমার আমার জন্য সেই দিনটা খুব গর্বের দিন ছিল কিন্তু একজন মানে অ্যাকচুয়ালি এখানে আরটুকে আমি ডিটেইলস বলেছি আমরা তো বাড়িতে যেটা বলি সেই ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজটা কিন্তু মিক্স অফ আসামিজ বেঙ্গলি হিন্দি এন্ড এন্ড মোর সামথিং মোর সো একটা মিক্স ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ আমরা আমি যদি বলি সেটা আমাদের ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজটা আমি বললে আপনিও কি জানি বুঝবেন না পিওর বাংলা নয় সেটা হ্যাঁ তো মোর দেন ফিফটি পার্সেন্ট ওয়ার্ডস আর আসামিজ বাট ওগুলো মানে আমাদের টিউনে বলা হয় আসামিজ ওয়ার্ডসগুলো আমাদের টিউনে বলা হয় সো এই কমিউনিটির থেকে হ্যাঁ আমরা কিন্তু লেখাপড়া আসামিসই করি আমাদের মাধ্যমটা আসামিজ আর আমরা মাতৃভাষা আসামিজ বলেই লিখি কিন্তু বাড়িতে কিন্তু যেটা রিয়েলিটি সেটা হচ্ছে বাড়িতে আমরা আসামিজ কিন্তু বলি না তো এই কমিউনিটি থেকে গিয়ে অল ইন্ডিয়া রেডিওতে একজন অ্যানাউন্সার হিসাবে যোগদান করা সেখানে ভাষার শুদ্ধতার একশো পার্সেন্ট কথা আছে তো সেখানে কাজ করা মানে আসামিজ হিসাবে আমি গর্ব করার একটা আমার সেখানে পয়েন্ট থাকে কিন্তু তারপরও যদি আমাদেরকে মানে সন্দেহ করা হয় আসামিজ হয় কি না হয় সেইগুলো কথা আমরা মানে এক্সপ্রেস করার আমাদের আর কোনো বললাম যে ভাষা নেই তো কিন্তু এইভাবে বসে থাকা তো ঠিক হবে না আমরা কিন্তু আমাদের যেটা ক্রিয়েটিভিটি সেটাকে আমরা কাজে লাগানো লাগাতে হবে তাই আমরা এই যে গান আমাদের যেগুলো অ্যাসেট মিউজিক্যাল অ্যাসেট আমাদের যেগুলো যেটা কালচার আছে এগুলোর মাধ্যমে আমরা এটাকে এক্সপ্রেস করব এটাই আমাদের ইচ্ছা তাই এই যে গানটা নজরুল ভাইলো একটু আগে একদম খুব খুব সুন্দর লাগলো গানটা আর আপনি যেটা বললেন মানে ইংলিশেও যেরকম বলে তো আমার মনে হয় সেটাই আপনাদের ক্ষেত্রে সত্যি তো আরেকটা যদি গান গিয়ে শোনান এই সময়ে আমার এত ভালো লাগলো যে আমি আরেকটা শুনতে চাই নজবল পাইলে আমার ডকুমেন্টারি পর গান আদা গো আ হেটো वाला মি কি বুঝাই দিয়া নো নো এখন পাগলা পাগলা নদী গাবো পড়া হুম 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 পাগলা নদী আরেকটা গান সম্ভবত এপার থাকি না যায় দেখো এপার কি না রা ওই গানটা ইউজ করা হয়েছিল শশ হুম এপার থাকি না যায় দেখা ওই পারের কি দয়াল রে ভবন দিব কাকুরি বেপা ভ 
আধ্যাত্মিক দিয়ে ভাবলে এই গানটার মধ্যে সেদিকে ভাবা যায় এদিকে নদীর কথা যদি বলতে যাই তাহলে এ পার আর ও পার রিজন and through them uh, i am more interested in the in you know i am more interested in how the human condition finds expression in songs and poetry and how migrants carry traces of their past in their songs and when the opportunity presented itself to make a film about the river rhine community i thought why not feature uh, the mias i mean they live with the annual floods you know they cope with with the river have a history of migration face constant scrutiny on their status as citizens of assam and have had internal conflicts or conflicts of identity of you know being an assamese about language about speaking in assamese or speaking in you know their own dialects all these i think and and in the current climate i felt it was you know it was necessary for me to examine them and examine them through their songs or through those these cultural aspects that they have carried through the generation through ages of migration and that's why i felt you know i you know i wanted to do it through songs and songs about the river songs about how they coexist with the river how the river has become probably their own only identity or their the identity that they strongly identify with thank uh, salim for this salim hussein who is a who is a academician and a, and a poet and in fact he was one of the first voices that i was exposed to from the mila community and uh, having you know he is a translator he is a poet you know the a, a perfect poet and there was this movement that i was exposed to uh, called the mia poets poets and i came across that and this was what the first time i actually kind of heard these new fresh voices that were coming out from the community and in this attempt to trying to reclaim this otherwise very hated word of of mia and and how the community and and these these scholars and these poets were trying to reclaim and salim became my resource person for this uh, for this documentary and let me just uh, ask a question yeah. you panash why do you say it's a hated word because mia is something that i've commonly heard in films well, and movies they say yeah. you know mia sab yes mia, mia, mia khan mia sab is actually a very it's an honorific term you know it's right. a term, right but growing up uh, mia's uh, mia and the illegal mig- migrant has become synonymous with each other and and it's it is precisely the connotation that this word carries especially in assam uh, which is what it is so colored by, by by colored by the history of immigration and the and the strife that you know this community has to go through and uh, not just this community but assam as such people in assam had to go through this you know everyone had to confront it everyone had their own position on this and uh, each each one of them they have a valid position and uh, instead of you know forming opinions or you know taking sides i think first attempt is to kind of acknowledge and understand you know where this comes from and uh, this film is an attempt on that and which is coming back to how mia has always been a very you know very kind of contested word and and this new movement that i see happening where the people are trying to assert or claim you know and and say this is you know another movement of cultural kind of uh, assertion you know so my films even the earlier film about marjuli or even nodir kulnai is about uh, the people who are living by the banks of this mighty brahmaputra and, and their lives and through through their stories through their songs through their you know constant struggle with the river maybe tell the story of assam tell the story of you know ভাষায় বলতে পারছি না এত ভালো লাগে লেগেছে তার মানে 
আর দাদার পার্সোনালিটি তো সামনাসামনি বলতে লাগে না মুখে বলতে যাব না বহুত ভালো তো উনি আমাকে খুব ভালোবাসে আর দাদা বলবো আর আচ্ছা আচ্ছা আই উড লাইক টু এক্সপ্লেন ইউর দিস কোয়েশ্চেন অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইউ নো উই হ্যাভ স্টার্টেড দ্য জার্নি থ্রু ইউ নো মিউজিক uh that is our agony our issues through music uh through documentation so uh you know there before <laughs> actually uh, three four months before we da- did didn't have a camera uh to shoot uh, whatever we thought about uh, to document uh, documenting the issues we didn't have a camera uh, uh the when when parashar the came to our village but uh, so that's why i would like to say that uh, parashar the was a privilege to uh, uh, us to our team <laughs> to uh, know to understand the things actually how can we approach uh, through music the, to the world uh, about our uh, community so it it was a privilege <laughs> uh, so having parashar da <laughs> i think um, parashar you have really done a service to not just this community but you know to national integration overall i would say you know to highlight mm. uh, issues like this it's it's absolutely wonderful if it anything that can bring people closer together yeah. and that yeah. too so beautifully through music and through yeah. your exceptional cinematography but I should I can't help but be amazed each time I look at every frame every shot it's so beautiful thank you so durba durba if i may just sorry to cut you there um, i'm i'm so glad you know thank you thank you for this and thank you for liking the cinematography uh, somewhere you know it was a conscious decision to look at the lyrical side and in fact the way i was shooting it also wanted to make it look like a poetry in motion to say it simply the other thing that excites me what mirza was trying to say the fact that you know now in the last 3 months you know they have got themselves a camera and they have started documenting their own um, stories which i think is is the biggest in you know, a success one can have you know i always feel feel that you know it is difficult for especially with documentaries you know it's very difficult for someone to kind of parachute himself and you however however long you spend time with the community it will always be an outsider's perspective it will always be a different gaze as long as you know as long and i'm so glad that they have started doing it themselves you know uh, whatever be the limitations will only be short lived i think in the long run their stories been told by their own voices i think the is the biggest success and in the fact that i can i can be a small part in trying to do this or trying to help them in whichever way i think over the, over the last one year since i started the nodil kulna and to now to see this progress in whatever little capacity that i have been able to make and it not that i claim to have but this initiative i think is, is the most heartening thing for me to take back in in the year to see that they are doing it themselves and they don't need a parasha baro anymore to come and do this i think that is the biggest uh, i think biggest take back from something our journey that has been a year year so far and i hopefully keep doing it and hopefully i see more of their work than rather than doing uh, things on all, all on my own yeah that's wonderful yeah. yeah thank you so you started you something you you begun you begun I won't claim but yeah maybe as as a catalyst I'm glad that I'm doing as as someone as an agent provocateur <laughs> as someone who's, who's trying to disrupt something maybe yes I will I'll do that any day acha to amra to gaan diye shuru korlam adda tao bhalo i jomlo to last year ki ekta gaan diye shesh korbo ha ha nazmul ke to ami bolbo ei aaj ki gaan shunben bolen thik ache ja apnader bhalo lage bhatiyali hote pare nojrul ki baul আরো তো কত রকমের গীত আছে আপনি বললেন আমাদেরকে তো যেটা যে কোনো একটা শোনান হ্যাঁ নজবুল গাও তুমি একটু বাল গায়ে শোনাচ্ছি তাহলে আচ্ছা হ্যাঁ এটা নাও আমার আধার ঘরে জল সে বাতি আমার আধার ঘরে 
जोल से बाती बोली दीवार शेखाने मोनेर मानुष जेखाने की सन्धने जाए शेखाने दयाल की सन्धने जाए मोनेर मानुष जेखाने जेते पथे काम नदीते जेते पथे काम नदीते परी दीते त्रिवेणी जेते पथे काम नदीते परी दीते त्रिवेणी कत धनी भरा जा मारा पड़े नदी घोर तूफाने मनर मानुष जेखने मिर्जा लुतफर रहमान Thank you so much Thank Durga for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Are you re pagela nodi ki moya lagai <laughs> nihire shuker boshot korli re sahara sari. उड़िए तक मन आवे मन तक बैठेली गान गई बाड़ी घर भांगी नहीं जा गान नईपुरिया मानी सरसापुर बस करूँ चार नई ठीक मजते कई घर मान के थकिया है क्या बस उठा लो जाए आको सर पड़े ताते घर बांधु जैसे बारिषा बानपानी है चार केवल बानपानी बानपानी गान गाव मान आल्ला डाका आल्लर का खूब आराधना करी सागर मत हो गल कुल किनारा नाई कौन पारे बा जाए मैं अस्थायी थी क्या स्थायी नाई पानी पानी सब जगह ये मन दुखे आवेगे गान सब गान गई नदी 
Nodir Kool Nai, the documentary by Parashar Barua, releases on Tuesday, the 14th of July. So remember, you can watch it on YouTube from Tuesday evening, that is the 14th of July onwards. And I'll see you next week with more stories from the Northeast.